Whoa, 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 whoa! I got your back! How many are you seeing? Too goddamn many. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to fix high CPU usage and play The Last of Us Part 1 at Smooth Stable. So, let's get started. In this process, you need a tool called MSI Afterburner and Lossless Scaling 3.1. I'll put the link down in the description below. Alright, first thing, we got to disable one setting in computer management. Just hit the Windows search bar, type in computer management and hit enter. Now go to device manager, scroll down and find system devices and click the little arrow to expand it. Look for something called high precision event timer or HPET for short. Once you find it, right click on it and choose disable device. Disabling HPET can help reduce input lag and improve overall system responsiveness, especially in games. It doesn't always make a massive difference, but for some systems, it can smooth things out quite a bit. Alright, now just close the computer management window and restart your PC to fully apply the changes. Now go ahead and open MSI Afterburner. You should see the icon on your desktop. Just double click it to launch. Once it's open, Head down to the taskbar, click the little arrow, and look for the RTSS tool. It looks like a blue monitor icon. Click that, and you'll see the RTSS interface pop up. In here, look for the frame rate limit section. Inside that black box, you could type in a value like 30, 35, or 37, and hit enter. This helps you lock the frame rate to get more stable performance, especially when you're using lossless scaling. Alright, in the lossless scaling tool we need to tweak a few more settings. First, go into the settings menu and make sure to turn on run as administrator. Once that's on, go back and adjust the other settings as needed. After that's all done, go ahead and launch The Last of Us Part 1. Now let's tweak the graphics settings. Focus on the ones that hit the CPU the hardest. Lowering those will help reduce the load on your CPU and keep things running smoother. Alright, now go ahead and apply the changes. If your PC is still struggling with performance, you can turn on FSR and set it to either quality or balanced mode to boost your FPS. Now start the game and press your shortcut key to activate lossless scaling frame generation. If the shortcut doesn't work, you can do it manually. Just press the Windows key on your keyboard, select the lossless scaling tool, click the scale button, and then select the Last of Us game window. Once that's done, frame generation will be active. After all of this, you should notice that high CPU usage is mostly gone and the game feels way more stable. With lossless scaling FG enabled, you can even hit a smooth stable 60 FPS. Now, I'll show you a few minutes of gameplay so you can see the difference. There you go. A full setup to optimize The Last of Us Part 1 on low end or mid range PCs with just a few tools and smart tweaks, you can seriously improve performance and enjoy smooth gameplay. If you found this helpful, give it a like, share it with someone who needs it, and don't forget to subscribe for more game optimization guides and tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.